Brian Menezes. I'm the Information Systems Librarian here at the Jonathan Bourne Public Library. Um, I handle all the technology in the building, um, offer technology classes when I'm able to, and I also do reference services. Tech Buddies is a program that I started in collaboration with Lynn Weeks at the Bourne Middle School. Um, I was looking for a way to reach out in the community because um, I've been doing primarily classes inside the building and I kind of I wanted to reach out and, and get, a, get more um, people in the community and be able to help them with the skills that I have. So that's how um, Tech Buddies um, came to fruition. And um, we were talking back and forth a little bit about what to do because we wanted to involve our students the, the, in the best way that we could. So we came up with the idea of having the students uh, be there with me and Lynn and having the adults pair up uh, with their technology buddy, with their student, and um, ask them whatever questions they have with their smartphone, their tablet, or their laptop, and uh, do the best that they can do to answer the questions. And then, but if it's a library related um, program that we have or an app that, that we use, I'll come in and fill them in on that because most, you know, most of the middle school students, they don't come to the library. Um, and the ones that do know a little bit, but when they're really technical questions, I'll come in or Lynn will come in to help us out, to help them out. Hi, I'm Lynn Weeks. I'm the digital literacy teacher here at Bourne Middle School. I've been working with Brian at the Bourne Public Library on a Tech Buddy program, and we've worked out I had been in the library here as the librarian for many years, so I've done other projects with the public library before. And when my role changed to more technology-based, I still wanted to be able to work with the public library and do something collaborative with the community. And the Tech Buddies came up out of us discussing possible ways we could collaborate. And he was already giving workshops to adults and said it would be great for them to have some helpers. I'm awesome. The first Tech Buddy sessions, I held them in November and December of 2014. Um, since then, we've done six sessions total, and um, in the clientele, there are library patrons, so they're, they are primarily older, um, and they're, you know, they get, they get e-readers and tablets for Christmas from their grandkids or, you know, um, and um, they have no idea what to do with them. So, you know, to put it bluntly. So that's why I'm here to help. Um, I do appointments here at the library as well, but I was, they were getting so popular that I had to reach out to see if I can do something else. So we've been having those sessions about once a month this year, and the adults sign up through the public library, and I have a group of students that come here every week, and on those Mondays, they help the grown-ups. Hi, I'm Ryan. We work on stuff like updating the website, like we type articles and we can upload them onto the website for uh, other kids to read and parents so they know what's happening. Hi, my name is Megan Gardner. I am also known as Nujagonia One on YouTube. Um, I am 10 years old and I'm from Bourne, Massachusetts. <laughs> Hi, I'm Brendan Lewis, sir, and I, I came to Tech Buddies because I, I am very good with electronic purposes and, and I love helping people out with their situations. Hi, I'm Brooke Ward. <laughs> I'm in seventh grade and I heard about Tech Buddies in digital literacy because I'm in digital literacy this term. Most of the students come just because they want to come and they want to help. They all take my class in 5th through 7th grade, which is digital literacy, which is more learning internet safety and searching online effectively and using information that you find online um, appropriately and responsibly and then creating projects. So they're not, I'm not teaching them to be experts in any one program, like we don't use just Microsoft Word or learning the way that older computer classes used to do that. So we're kind of trying to get them familiar with lots of different things and 
So they're very good at, and very helpful and they're very eager to help the adults that come. Um, we do encourage the adults to bring in their smartphone, tablet, laptop, and whatever cables they need to charge their devices. But if they don't have it, luckily we have the computer lab. Um, it's, they're held in the computer lab, the sessions, and um, there are about 20 computers there. So we've had a few instances with the adults where they haven't had a uh, piece of equipment and it's been great to use those to be able to use those computers as well. Grown-ups coming in, usually very basic beginners, they just got an iPad or they just got their first like cell phone or not their first cell phone but their first smartphone and they don't know how to send an email or attach a picture or download an app or um, kind of things that the kids do pretty quickly and it hasn't been as much about learning a certain program but sometimes how to search online and where to, to go for information that the grown-ups, it's newer to them and the kids have been using it all along. I think we're still just trying to get Tech Buddies up and running and going. I have right now students that come every week, so another part of Tech Buddies is I've been trying to get them to be able to work on projects for the school on the days when we don't have grown-ups with us. So we have done little articles that get posted onto our home page for our website um, or short little animations maybe promoting an upcoming event that we can tweet or we can put onto the school website or Facebook page. I like to add the articles. I type them and then Miss Weeks puts them on the school website. Like I watch like horse videos because I like ride horses and I like to watch horse videos and I watch hair tutorials. I use almost every single type, like almost television, computer, iPhone, almost everything. And then my dad, when I, whenever I got in trouble, well not in trouble, more like help, I needed help with something on this game or it's like powering down, um, my dad knew just what to do and that's, that's helping me today. I like that you actually get to do something nice and help someone else that is having trouble. That is my favorite part about it, basically. If I had, if I had to think about the future, I would probably go even lower, go to the elementary schools, only because um, I think elementary school and middle school, they're the pivotal years in a, in a child's life where you know, they'll be able to soak in all the information, learn skills faster than they can in high school. I, we could also do it in high school too, but I think definitely the middle school, the middle years um, are really good, teenage years are really good for them to be able to um, reach out and volunteer in that sort of way. Um, it's actually, that's the best part, I think, is how nice it is to see the way that the students and the grown-ups have bonded and some of the adults who have come last year or this year and look for the same student and that they've been able to kind of get little relationships. And sometimes there's a student that knows an adult because they, you know, are in the neighborhood or they've had connections prior to here. For any of the library patrons, or even if you aren't a library patron, and, uh, and if you don't like being in a group situation, I do offer one-on-one -on -one tech help appointments here at the library. Same thing, it's like an extension um, of Tech Buddies, but I do it here at the library, and um, they can give me a call, they can come in, and if they have any issues with their computer, smartphone, or they want to learn um, some of the library resources that we have for free ebooks and audiobooks. That's Overdrive, that the main system that we use. We also have um, a service called Hoopla, where you can get free movies, TV shows, comic books, um, audiobooks, ebooks, etc., which is really nice. Um, free gal music, it's for free, uh, five free downloads a week. Uh, we also have um, an app called Mango that we subscribe to where you can learn um, one of 60 languages if you'd like. And it's a really nice app because it, it definitely helps with your conversational um, speaking um, and you, you're able to record your voice as you go along and see how you're doing compared to the, to the person in the app. Um, and we have so many other services, but fortunately I have them all on our website, bornlibrary.org. 
you can um, click on the digital library tab on the very top of the page and it gives you um, a run a run on just all of the different resources that we have that are in app form for your iPhone, iPad, Kindle Fire, Android. Um, and if you need any help with any of those things, I'm here to help. But we have instructions for each one of those things online so you can click and find out more on how to use it and how to install it. No Tech Buddies in the summer, but in the fall and the spring is when we, when, when we um, hold them. And uh, yeah, free, you sign up at the library or email me, email Lynn Weeks, and we'll get you started. My friends used to tell me, oh, you should start coming to Tech Buddies. It is a really fun activity that you should do after school. So I believe them, I started coming here, and it's been a really great experiment. Uh, thank you so much for listening in and tuning in. And um, if you have any questions, you can give us a call, um, sign up at the main desk. Um, and I look forward to seeing, hopefully, some of you guys at Tech Buddies. And um, just stay tuned on our website and online.